Good afternoon, good afternoon, my beautiful biohacking friends. So today is another video in this life-changing series, and it's another conversation I've been having with a lot of my clients lately. And yes, I am absolutely wearing a Santa Claus outfit right now. Why not, right? Tis the season. Merry Christmas to you. So guys, here's the conversation. And look, let me preface this with saying, I am not a child psychologist, nor do I have kids. I want kids one day, but it just has not been the right time for me yet. So that is my disclaimer for this video. But here's the deal. Guys, I am tired of hearing parents use their kids as an excuse. And here's what I mean by that, guys. I understand the responsibility of having kids. I understand the responsibility of having a life that you have to provide for. I understand that. But I also don't understand how instead of making a tough decision and getting outside of your comfort zone, you're gonna put that blame on your kids. Think about this, guys, and I know, like, look, I'm welcome to feedback. I know there's gonna be some parents out there, I you just don't understand. You're right, I don't have kids. But I'm speaking at this from the pure psychology point of view. So think about this, guys. When you have kids, like, you're responsible for those kids, right? Not only are you responsible to financially provide for them, financially, like, put a house over their head, food in their mouth, you're responsible for that, right? But you're also responsible for their mental well-being. So let me ask you this. When you think about having kids, what do parents tell you is the primary thing they're always concerned about with having kids? Like, they want their kids to be happy. That's what parents want. If you ask any parent, that's what they want. They want, they want their kids to be happy. They may have some, like, projected insecurities that they're harboring that they project on their kids. As far as I want my kid to do this, I want my kid to be a doctor, lawyer, or whatever. Um, you might have something you're projecting on your kids, but at the end of the day, it's your perception of what you think will make your kids happy. So my question is this. Let's have a little paradigm shift. What does your happiness mean to your kids? Think about that, guys. Let me ask you this. When's the last time you've been around someone that has been just extremely extremely like almost uncomfortably happy and like you can just tell they have like this deep sense of fulfillment with life they're happy what does that person want when you're around that person they want everyone else to be happy too right like when you're around someone that just has this like amazing positive energy that like they're just happy to be alive they want everyone around them to be happy so think about that transfer of energy with your kids guys it's so hard to instill good mental health into your kids if you don't have it first. So yes, I absolutely believe you have to put your kids as a priority in your life, but you also have to make yourself a priority because if you don't love yourself, it's gonna be really hard to love your kids. If you don't have you know, yourself taken care of with your own mental health, how are you gonna teach that to your kids? All right, if you want your kids to be happy, you must first make yourself happy and then transfer that to them. Guys, stop using kids as an excuse to not get outside of your comfort zone. Stop using your kids as an excuse to settle. Go out there and show your freaking kids how amazing this world can be. Go out there and show your freaking kids how human potential is nearly limitless. Go teach your kids how to be the hero you destined to be. Love you guys.